okay so uh, to uh, continue from yesterday's class i'll uh, we, are, we we were continuing about sex determination so we finished uh, the process of sex determination in humans let us see what happens in other organisms uh, determination of sex how it works I think this is this will be better for the camera. Okay. So <clears throat> we will start today with the different types of Is my board visible? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Types of sex chromosomal sex chromos chromosomal mechanism sex determination today i am not using my desktop i am using my laptop okay so we have actually two types you could have hetero gametic males that means the gametes are different in males and females uh, that is in the males for example in humans you have x bearing sperms as well as y bearing sperms so you have these two types of sperms being formed in males so if this goes and fuses with an x of a female this will be become xx and this is xy this will be a female and this will be a male so males have got two different types of gametes therefore they are known as heterogametic so if the males are heterogametic the gametes are uh, the different looking uh, then they are heterogametic they can be of the xx xy type we are uh, humans xx are female and xy are male these are females and these are males and you have the xx xo type so these are supposedly the males and these are the females xo means that it is the, the x chromosome is not paired it is odd they have an odd complement So this is uh, how it runs. So the, the here the, it is always the males which are heterogametic. This is also a male. This is also a male. So they are the heterogametic. So this is the heterogametic component. Apart from that, you have the. heterogametic females okay. 
here we have the z0 zz system this z0 will be the female not the male and zz will be the male happens in birds the chicken curry chicken biryani which you take the chicken the birds also have the even in the chicken you have the zw zz system so you can find this in lot of birds this head to the females are the heterogametic the sex of the the bird depends upon the females not the males in humans and in all mammals the sex depends upon the male what type of x bearing sperm or y bearing sperm here you have a just to distinguish it from the xy chromosomes they are the birds also have an xy xx chromosomes but uh, uh, the autosomes but uh, to distinguish it from this system it is uh, uh, they are called as zw zz the sex chromosomes are uh, to distinguish it from the system this is a the new type of system which you people will study so let's first go with the xx xo system sex determination so in plants especially in vallis uh, vallisneria vallisneria and all insects of the hemiptera and orthoptera or of this or orthoptera so hemiptera are basically the bugs ladybug bugs and beetles and orthopterans are the grasshoppers and wood chingrees locust orthoptera their leg is very bare, long jumping leg is there the hind leg so they show this uh, particular xx xo system here the females have two x chromosomes xx and males have only one x chromosomes therefore they are x o o means null null nothing is there so males will produce two types of sperms so one one sperm without x that is zero and the other sperm has got x so the presence of one unpaired presence of one unpaired x chromosome determines the masculine sex
So females, uh, uh, the, the, the male will have 22 plus X and the female will have 22 plus XX. Somebody who has entered, please uh, yeah, allow them in, please. So this is how the system works. This is the X, X and the XO system. So males have got only one X chromosome and females have got two X chromosome. And the other is null. We move to the next system, which we know very well, which we have uh, described the XXXY system. And then we uh, come to the, let's just talk about. Sex determination in Drosophila. In Drosophila, there is presence of X and Y chromosomes. Females are XX and normally males are XY. However, here there is no role of SRY gene. There is no role of the SRY gene. So how do they use? Here, Sex is determined by, this is the important uh, line. Determined by ratio of number of X's two sets of autosome that is number of x is to number of autosome sets so autosome sets means or drosophila has four pairs of chromosomes so the whole complement, all the chromosomes set means multiple of all the autosomes. So one autosome set actually is all the autosome set, all the autosomes which are present. And if uh, there are two sets pre present, that means there are uh, double the amount uh, of all the autosomes present. If three sets present, three times the amount of autosome sets. Am I clear here? Are you able to understand what do you mean by sets? If Drosophila has got four autosomes, four types of autosomes, four chromosomes. Autosomes are they are non-sex chromosomes. Right. So in human, we have got 22 pairs of autosomes.
एंड एक्स वाई और एक्स एक्स वन पेयर ऑफ सेक्स क्रोमोजोम दिस इज हाउ इट इज सेट सो ड्रोसोफिला ऑल्सो हैज गॉट इंस्टेड ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू यू मे हैव फोर ऑटोजोम्स थ्री ऑटोजोम्स सो Uh, but they can be uh, in humans like we have presented only one set uh, double copies in drosophila uh, it uh, you can have multiples like a ploidy you can have four uh, for example you can have many uh, four x chromosomes and four sets of autosomes that is the whole complete chromosome 1 2 and 3 it is present that is one set so uh, now this uh, chromosome 1 2 and 3 present two or three times you can say two or three sets are present so uh, be very cautious of this part is it clear yes no yes sir yes sir next uh, i will talk say that only one x plus two sets autosomes of course they are diploid so two sets are present if it is something like this it is a normal diploid male now again if there are 2x plus 2 sets autosome it is a normal diploid female clear here we are not talking about the role of like in humans masculinity being male depends on y chromosome in drosophila it does not depend in drosophila it does not depend like that in drosophila it is depending on the ratio of x and sets of autosome the y chromosome is only responsible for sperm development so even if it doesn't have the y chromosome if that male doesn't have the y chromosomes it is x0 it will st still develop and one x and if it has got two sets of autosomes and one x it will be a phenotypic male but or it will be sterile because it will not have sperms but presence of sperms is only not, not the only characteristic of males there are other characteristics of males so this is a different way of imagining it so
this is the actually the genic balance theory of sex determination in drosophila so now we will look at uh, this was actually let me tell you the historical part it was uh, 1921 the famous uh, drosophila lab uh, our famous drosophila lab uh, one of the famous quartlet you can call uh, morgan bridges uh, muller and sturt event from the famous fly lab in colorado you can have the famous fly lab one of them was calvin bridges the famous scientist they were studying drosophila they discovered most of the principles of genetics because of the of course because of mendel we are uh, now uh, we are uh, he's the father but only a good father doesn't make a kingdom you may have babar uh, establishing uh, the mughal empire but you needed somebody like an akbar to actually integrate the mughal empire with india and uh, become synonymous akbar becomes synonymous with indian culture akbar's akbar's rule he was known as akbar the great the greatest mughal emperor the mughals were then from the, then onwards but when babar from babar he was considered somebody someone from kazakhstan from samarkand uh, samarkand and uh, were fargana and all these places in uh, kazakhstan hmm, he was came from all those he was not exactly indian he just conquered he was a conqueror but uh, even humayun also was something like that but akbar for the first time he was the not only the greatest king of the mughals but he was totally indian he was born and brought up totally in india and he integrated himself totally with indian cultures and religion he basically Uh, his own uh, origin of kazakhstan was lost and uh, from uh, akbar onwards basically nobody i did they did not identify themselves with uh, uh, samarkand anymore in kazakhstan they identified themselves directly with uh, uh, india with delhi with delhi especially delhi the red fort uh, and everything was identified in delhi whereas in the case of babar his tomb is in some uh, is in samarkand i think uh, in kazakhstan it's not in uh, anywhere in india humayun's tomb is there in delhi but uh, uh, all uh, babar's tomb is not over here the founder he considered himself uh, from samarkand he was a ruler conqueror he had uh, as a particular empire, uh, empire in kabul also but in afghanistan but then uh, basically it's something like this so uh, what i meant to say was even though in genetics mendel is the father but mendel's work was never on absolute genetics his work was de dealt with plant breeding and a wonderful use of statistics but for the first time th morgan somewhere around 1910 yes morgan's lab 1910 uh, they did they discovered the thing known as sex linkage the x chromosome of drosophila and he uh, found out that the red eye color red eye or white eye eye this color eye color this particular gene was located on the x chromosome
So he was uh, Morgan's PhD student are, are the four famous uh, uh, Hermann Muller, uh, the one who uh, uh, you will study about him in uh, mutations, the, that X-ray, you can induce mutations. He studied a lot about uh, mutations in Drosophila by uh, passing them through radiation and X-rays. Um, you had uh, the famous uh, Bridges, Calvin Bridges, we, we are, who we are talking about right now. Famous non-disjunction theory that genes are located on chromosomes. This uh, Morgan's work was they saw found out linkage for the first time. It was not independent assortment uh, like Mendel's uh, laws of a pea plant, which you have all studied in school. Uh, uh, in your 11, 12, you must have definitely studied about Mendel. So it was uh, not about independence. You had something. For the first time, he could say that these genes were located on chromosomes. This was Morgan's work. Calvin Bridges did that non-disjunction where he had two X chromosomes. They were attached together and they had a yellow color and there was a Y chromosome. Therefore, the frog, and uh, by observing the movement under microscope, I mean, after microscope and during uh, generations of breeding, uh, he discovered that uh, these uh, indeed it was that the genes were the ca carrier of uh, the genes were carried on chromosomes. So uh, he had different types of things. So he also gave this uh, theory of uh, uh, the theory of um, he also uh, had the, the theory of uh, the genic balance theory. And of course, yeah, you uh, people will also uh, you have studied or will study uh, Alfred Sturt event, another uh, bright uh, scientist of the lab of T.H. Uh, 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 Morgan. You should know these names if you are talking about uh, genetics. Sturt event, what Sturt event was, uh, gave was actually the gene mapping in drosophila which i must have taken some classes upon so so 1921 uh, calvin bridges he gave this genic balance theory theory on sex determination in drosophila so as per this rule let us see it was the ratio of x is to sets of autosomes always remember this so number of he saw through his different uh, uh, flies collection of flies which he uh, uh, made number of the flies which uh, he could see them under the microscope the x chromosome was identified thomas morgan th morgan thomas hunt morgan these people actually morgan he died uh, he died in 1944 i remember that 44 45 somewhere around this time these people they were actually these uh, these people are people who you can pray to every day. So remarkable individuals they were. Today, uh, none of medicine and all these things won't wouldn't have happened just because if these people did not understand the principles of inheritance and genetics. They are awesome people. They are really awesome. They are really great. Not only they are great, also you have uh, famous names of famous people. Also, you should rem remember ba Barbara McClintock, the first woman geneticist, you can call. Although the, uh, the first Nobel laureate was uh, uh, Madame Curie, also a great person. But uh, Barbara McClintock, uh, jumping genes or transposable elements, we will read about them in genetics. 
she was uh, in corn she discovered them identified she got the nobel prize also because of that because she was a woman she did not get it uh, the very early then you should also remember the name of rosalind franklin um gem of a woman dna structure on based on her research uh, watson and crick everybody were uh, james watson and francis crick they got the nobel prize but rosalind franklin she died of uh, cervical cancer uh, at a very young age of 37 therefore she did not get the prize but on her studies on extra crystallography and all these things uh, the structure of dna was as elucidated you should remember the name of uh, erwin shargaf who's uh, he was a chemist whose base ratios on the basis of this data shargaf's rule you could uh, determine the, um, the basic uh, the dna structure was elucidated then uh, roger and arthur kornberg the re dna replication the polymerase dna polymerase that dna how dna is synthesized so all these uh, gem of uh, people you know uh, they on the basis of uh, on whose the legacy today's uh, uh, companies they sell medicines after them i believe the, the, there was no great research maybe the next greatest research came from the um, um, this pcr was the next greatest technique and of course human genome sequencing from the uh, craig venter institute craig venter he was more of a businessman but uh, anyway the, that was a great work done does anybody know who discovered pcr this is the uh, i will tell you can, can anybody tell me we are doing a day night pcr is being done rt pcr who discovered the technique of pcr bolte paro yes no hello am i audible yes sir yes sir. who discovered pcr can anybody tell me bolo take 2 minutes this is very very unexpected you people should really know who did pcr it was a nobel laureate okay i will show you that person where is the image carry mulis Why am I not able to see the images? He died some days back. Carry Mullis. This was Carry Mullis, father of PCR. He died some days back. This famous polymerase chain reaction. Okay, let's get back to our studies. So these were some of the famous names: Carrie Mullis, Cornbergs, then uh, Barbara McClintock, Erwin Shargaf, uh, Rosalind Franklin, James Watson, Francis Crick, Thomas Morgan, Sturtevant. Then, of course, Griffith. transformation then avery macarty macleod 
these were some uh, top top people on whose uh, work actually today we are surviving in modern day actually the uh, craig venter people call craig venter as the uh, he uh, sequenced the genome but more of it it was a more of a business venture craig venter institute so it was more of a business proposition rather than um, uh, anything about uh, things among indians of course you should remember jagdish chandra bose satyan bose you should remember their names more uh, then uh, among indians of course uh, one uh, he was an indian but uh, uh, he, uh, he never worked in india har gobind khurana he was the founder uh, with uh, uh, nirenberg uh, he found out the genetic code so let's get back to the genetic balance uh, uh, theory you have the number of x chromosomes number of sets of autosomes and the x by a ratio and the sex of the individual so he saw when the number of x there were three x chromosomes x x x and there were two sets of autosomes the whole complement the normal two sets of complement the x by a ratio was 3 by 2 that is 1.5 and the sex was a meta female rather a super female you can call not exactly a not a normal female but a meta female female but not very much uh, fertile wise you can say then if the number of cro chromosomes x chromosomes were 4 number of sets of autosomes were 3 ratio was 4 by 3 that is equal to 1.3 this was also a meta female if it was 2 and 2 2 by 2 is equal to 1 the sex was a normal female it was if it was 4 and number of sex were 4 this also was a normal female it was 3 and this was 3 this was also normal female now if the number of chromosomes x chromosome was 2 and number of autosomes were 3 it was 2 by 3 that was uh, 0.66 or 67 uh, how were you called this was an intersex between male and female then if there was number of x chromosome was 1 and this was 2 0.5 this was a normal male and if this was 1 and this was 3 One divided by three. This was point three three. This was a meta male. So one thing you saw a ratio of one gave female, and a ratio of point five gave male. And why? Only for. now one question to you people use your brains now one fly has got this x x x 3 x is this is the genotype of the fly
these are four sets of autosomes what is its sex please tell me bolo using the genetic balance theory what will be the sex it has got a y chromosome so meta male I don't have to say meta male male or female just tell me so male okay let us see ratio 3 by 4 what is 3 by 4 0.75 1.75 So what happens to point seven? Intersex. Intersex to male. Then X X X. This fly. What will this fly do? B. Female. So female. Just female. Just female. Very female. good. So these type of questions come. So this ये why 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 बेकार हो जाता है इसका कोई function नहीं है. Basically, the uh, only when it is a male, first the genetic balance the, the theory will determine it's a male. Then the sperm, the sperm formation may the y will work. Otherwise, it's, it has got no function. So the, this uh, the, we will discuss about sex determination in Drosophila in much more details. We will talk about another uh, thing known as male haploidy. We will discuss the molecular mechanisms later. later most famous remember some genes of this cis sisterless cis and sxl or sex lethal sex lethal tra transformer and this is sisterless and dpn or dead pen these are the uh, important genes which are present the same x by a so if there are the three x's it means the gene products are uh, expressed three times and if there are three a that means the three gene product of a is expressed three times and the amount of these things uh, gene product of x and the gene products of autosomes there is a fighting among themselves a ratio between the numerator which is x and the denominator which is the autosomes gene products of x and the gene products of y take place and depending upon which is greater a uh, certain gene expression takes place that we can explain later but currently let us go to male hap uh, haploidy or it is known as the haplodiploidy you can find them in bees they have three classes one is the queen then you have the workers and then you have the drones which are the males the queen and the workers they are the females and the drone is the male the queen is the reproductive female the workers are non reproductive
the queen releases a hormone known as queen hormone it is a pheromone what it does is it suppresses the development ai ke dhukche aur pan dhukiye dao na oke suppresses the development of suppresses the development of ovaries in workers so their sex organs don't develop so they the, the so it's only the queen and funny part of it is the males of the drones the queen and the workers they are deployed to and deployed and the drone it is haploid this is haplodiploidy that means when the queen lays eggs the unfertilized ones that is no sperm has come they develop drones unfertilized eggs are n and the fertilized that is n plus n they form queen and workers is it clear yes no yes sir yes sir yes sir so this is the phenomenon of haplodiploidy so i will stop my class today in the next class we will talk about the no just one more thing i'll, I'll finish i'll finish one more thing the z0 zz system it happens in certain moths and butterflies here female they possess single z chromosome therefore it is heterogametic two types of eggs are formed first egg null no egg and the second egg is x zero egg and the egg with x this is the heterogametic sex and the male just consider the female as the male and the male as the female but female produces eggs not sperms male possesses two z chromosomes and only one type of sperm is produced that 
that is z bearing sperms so the sex of the offspring depends on the egg so next day we will be talking about two more two more things the zw zz system and environment sex determination i will tell you the next day so do you people have got any questions hello okay no sir okay